Day Forest National Park, also known as Fort Du Day National Park, is a national park in the Gota Mountains and Tadjoura region of Djibouti. Flora Along with Mount Mabla, the Fort Du Day National Park is one of Djibouti's two remnant areas of closed minus protected forests. It protects an important forest island in a sea of semi desert. It has four dominant tree species Juniperus procera, Alia africana, Buxus hildebrandti, and Tarchinanthus camphoridus. Dome palms are found in the western part of the plain of Hanel, at the foot of Gamare on the edge of the plain of Gagade. The vegetation becomes more abundant with altitude. Thus the set of day and its extension to the crest of Gota are occupied by an ancient juniper forest, ficus, mimosa, wild olive trees, boxwood, dragon trees, and other native plants. This is the largest forest in Djibouti. The forest has a total area of approximately 14,500 acres. The most valuable part of National Park is 2,223 acres large stand of East African junipers Juniperus procera which grows in the heights above 950 meters. Junipers here reach height of 20 meters, but many trees have died off in recent decades, while the boxwood B. hildebrandti is expanding in their stead. Fauna <laughs> <laughs> Notable animals found here include the Djibouti Franklin Ternistus ocropectus, a population of green-winged Pytelia that may actually be a distinct species or subspecies Pytelia melba flavicadata, as well as the mysterious and undescribed Toha sunbird — Djibouti sunbird Chalcometra sp. Indet. All of these birds do not occur outside of and are endemic to Djibouti, and except for the Franklin they have only ever been found within day forest. More widespread birds inhabiting the forest are Gambaga flycatcher gambagay, Somali bulbul Pycnonotus barbatus somaliensis and Somali starling Anacognathus blithi. The rare colubrid snake Platyceps afarensis is also found here. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Conservation The forest as a whole has been under long-term environmental threat. 88% of the day forest has been lost over the last two centuries, and more than 20% of the loss has occurred during the last 50 years. 